The NMPC's chief executive officer, Mele Kari, recently unveiled the new pump price of petrol, attributing the change to the deregulation of the oil sector market. He clarified that the adjustment was not due to supply shortages, but rather resulted from the increased cost of foreign exchange. In response to the announcement, some Nigerians in the nation's capital expressed their concerns, stating that the new price has a widespread impact and exacerbated the country's cost of living. NNPC is running through vendors and that we did not know that until the last time that there was adulteration, I think it's not fair on the nation. So ultimately, I think that the government must look in the direction of modular refineries. Problems start from where we don't normally interrogate policies of government very well to see the repercussive effect of some of the policy government are making and how it can have ripple effect on other sectors and other, uh, other programs and intervention of government. The oil marketers who also voiced their grievances said that the federal government should intervene and conduct a thorough fact-finding inquiry into the NMPCL affairs. They believe this is necessary to alleviate the suffering caused by the recent changes no, the way out is just very simple. First of all, we have to start thinking about how we can stop importing white oil to our country. That is, we start thinking how we can be able to establish refineries. And uh, not necessarily a very big refinery like Angoche, the government will encourage people to construct this modular refinery. Okay. So if modular refinery are being constructed, definitely it will assist, it will reduce the price, the current price that we are having now. Urgent calls have been made to the government to take action as the current minimum wage is deemed insufficient to meet the rising cost of living. Juliet Dengiwa, ITV News.